Jack, um, you're you're back from from Durham, um, playing for the county select eleven against uh, India. What, what kind of an experience was that? Yeah, it was it was it was obviously brilliant. Um, quite you know it happened quite quick in terms of you know getting getting the call up and then and then going up there and playing. So yeah, it all happened quick and it, it was yeah just a great experience. Kind of test test yourself against probably some of the best players in the world. Um, you know. As, as it showed there in the Test Championship and stuff, they're pretty much the second best Test team in the world at the moment. So it was a great experience, good to, as well, to mix with like, boys from other counties and, and some different coaches and stuff. And just, you know, just a completely new experience for me, really. I've been, you know, not, not really experienced anything outside, outside of Sussex while I've been over in England. And uh, how did, what, what did they explain about the, the game? And, you know, the, when, you, when they said you were going to be playing in it, what did they sort of say about why you had been picked and and what they kind of ex- were hoping you'd get out of it? Uh, yeah, um, Richard Dawson was was the head coach, and he kind of said, you know, just obviously it's it me bold that this year, and, and said they'd been, you know, I thought I'd, I'd done all right, so it was sort of thing obviously off the back of my performances this year it was you know give me a chance, and and then they just, just the coaches kind of spoke about you know, this great opportunity, obviously for. For a bunch, a bunch of it was quite a young team as well to go out there and you know get get stuck in and, and run India as close as close as we could and it's a great chance for somebody to put their hand up like a team of me did even get a great hundred and just it was that was really the message of a great opportunity to to go out there and show that you can compete against some of the best players in the world, some of the best players in the world, but also some of the best players against spin in the world. Um, you know, was it was it a daunting prospect bowling against some of those guys? Yeah, I think it really was actually considering you know got there and you know, Durham is not necessarily a place that is known for for spinning massively and got there and saw the wicket it was pretty green um, and stuff so I guess straight away you're you're thinking you know it could be a tough challenge but you know as as Saul's always says to me like you know the top off the off the top off no matter who it is and if you bowl the right bases for long enough you you usually do all right um, and I guess that was kind of my thought process as well, I was just trying to compete, um, you know, and, and look after my game really, and and sort of stay intrinsic in that way. And is um is Pujara your rabbit now? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Actually, my brother my brother sent me a little rabbit emoji. Actually, sent me and said uh, about Pujara, but uh, he's, he's, I mean, it's, that was I think he's in the fiftieth first class as well. So it's a nice little milestone and, and a pretty good player to get for it as well. So it's. Not quite, I'm not sure he's quite involved me. I'm sure if I bowl out of the game, he might do differently, but no, it's good. Uh, and, you know, do, we'll come on to your net with, with Virat Kohli, but the, the guys you bowled at, did did you get a chance to speak to them or was it quite difficult to kind of spend much time in contact because of COVID and, and all that? Yeah, it was quite difficult, really, um, because obviously, like, the test series is such a big, you know, not just for cricket, but for, you know, revenue and stuff for, for both countries. So it was very, very tight. Um, but you know, like just even bowling at like Jet Edge and stuff, like the non strikers in like the old time was like you know, just like a bowl and, and stuff like that, which is, is good to hear from some kind of boys at the very top of of the game. Um, and let's talk about that net. Someone caught you on, on camera having um having a one on one net with, with Virat. Um how did that come about and uh, and how did it go? Yeah, so it was it was obviously a bat we were batting this bat and day, so I was coming up to lunch and I said to, to John Lewis, like, obviously, you know, know Louis from his time in Sussex, like, go out, get, get out and have a bowl at lunch, get some overs in and do a bit of drill work. So I was just heading out, like, you know, like a desk to throw down and do a bit of target bowling. And so we kind of started off and, and you could see Virat was walking out and the net was being put up in the middle. So I think Louis kind of half jokingly was a bit like, oh, do you want to bowl Virat? And I was like, well, if I can, yeah, I'd, I'd love to. Obviously, a bit of a once in a lifetime, possibly. So, uh, then he, he asked Ravi Shastri, if he, you know, could I come and have a bow on him in his net? And yeah, Ravi was like, yeah, go on, go on ahead. And and Virat was happy with it. So yeah, I just got, got stuck in. There's two boys side arming, and then me in between, one a few offies. So it was it was yeah, it was pretty surreal. Like I think it's probably one of the most actually nervous I've been to bow. Like um, because you don't you want to. Like we're in, we're in the best friend in the world's net or anything like that, like bowling down the leg side or something. So yeah, I was actually pretty nervous, but once I got in it again, it, it's just actually me and Louis had a little a little wager of you know if um, 
I forgot him out. He was going to get me a bit of English feeling gear, and, and if they didn't, then I had to form a few drinks in the bar later. So, and well, I was still up in the air. Like I, <laughs> Ravi Shastri reckons that Adam Adam caught him in it off, and I reckon so too. But <laughs> Louis wasn't convinced, so so it was just still me at the moment. I can still get waiting on my training top, but and and did okay. and did you? Again, I know it's difficult to sort of get up close and personal, but across twenty two yards did, did was, was Virat positive about what you were sending down? Yeah, like again, like you said, you ball, you ball it, you know, even the best players in the world like will we'll show respect and I think it, it was it was just seeing you know, you just your margin for errors so so much smaller, both on the full side and short side, like picks up length so well, uses his feet so well, uses the crease so well, so many shots, so like obviously he got me away for for a few like no doubt but yeah it, it was it, him and Ravi Shastri obviously like, gave me some feedback as well which was good and yeah it was just a great experience really all around and so um would you be on the phone to to Don Bess or to to Moeen telling them how to get him out in the test series oh well, I think uh, <laughs> I, I reckon I went the distance there maybe so I might not be the man to ask but no the Jara <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then finally, um, you know, the game finishes. Um, what sort of feedback did you get from people like um, Richard Dawson and, um, and and John Lewis, you know, and the coaching staff about what what they want to see from you going forward? Yeah, I got some some good stuff and kind of you know what what they what they're looking for from sort of spinners, but like from you know county level Lions and Anfield International of you know really want spinners to be able to hold really well in the first innings and and. You know, let seamers rotate from other end. And sometimes, you know, spoke actually, wickets are obviously brilliant, but sometimes, you know, if you can hold your first innings, that's almost as important as a spinner in England. So, that, you know, that was good feedback as well to know that, you know, when you're sort of pushing for a higher honour, sometimes you, know, you want to have, you know, you see getting five first, six first, and take those wickets. But actually, you know, if you do that, 20 overs, one for 40. You know, in the first innings, that actually, you know, you you'll get nervous for that, and 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 that'll sort of that could push you forward. So yeah, it was good feedback, and then just some little sort of little technical things as well. The director might be able to help me too. And I, I understand they sent you your own driver up all the way from Hove to to Durham and back. So they must rate you. Yeah, I, um, I felt pretty guilty about that. I reckon the red steel ECB expenses there, but <laughs> yeah, I was able to put the feet up in the back and. And so the headphones in for, for five hours instead of having to drive up, which was or get the train, which was was very nice. Man. Oh, I'm glad you had a good few days. Thanks for your time, Jack. Cheers, Sam. Thank you.